Hey everyone, Technomentor here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unsync your iPad from getting your iPhone messages. So any messages you're getting on your iPhone does not sync with your iPad. So let's get started. So in order to do that, what we're going to need to do is that if you're sharing Apple ID on your iPhone and iPad, this is going to happen naturally and we need to turn some settings off. Now the first and the most recommended way to do it is if you want to really unsync your iPhone from iPad is just using a completely different Apple ID for your iPad. But in a case you might want to use the same Apple ID, you need to do this. In the setting of your iPad, simply go into your Apple ID account, click on iCloud and from there on you're going to see that there's an option for apps using iCloud. We're going to show all, and then you can see your messages is turned on. We're going to click on it, and instead of syncing it, we're going to turn that sync off and then disable download. So basically, it will not download the messages that are saved from your iCloud account on your iPhone to your iPad. So you want to turn that setting off. And you go back here. We're going to go ahead and ensure that this is turned off. So it's going to take a moment because it does need to download them and then after that it will go ahead and turn it off. Now another thing you need to do is if you don't want messages at all coming into your iPad completely from that Apple ID in the future, you also want to turn off messages by going to messages and then turn off iMessages and make sure that this is grayed out. And with that setting turned off, you will no longer get any messages to your iPad as you can see here it's asking me to sign in but I don't need to sign in. You can still use all the other services available like downloading apps with the same Apple ID account, uh, doing anything else you need to do. You can sync your notes and whatnot with it. But if you want to start unsyncing other items, we'll show you in other videos on how to do that. But basically, you need to go ahead into your Apple ID account, iCloud, and turn off any apps that you don't want to sync between your iCloud account from your iPhone to your iPad and that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone, iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.